Oh, look what we have here. So here is the 40, 40, 40 plan ebook. And today out of it, la, ba, ba, we're going to try some hummus. And I want to show you how easy it is to create homemade hummus. So I've got here some um, natural Greek yogurt, some tahini paste. I've got some chickpeas, which I've drained the water from. I've got extra virgin olive oil. I've got some crushed garlic. I've got some fresh lemon and over here i've got some of my um himalayan salt and basically that's it so should we do it together first off we're going to pop into the food process i'm going to pop all the chickpeas and again drain the water because it actually makes them either a little bit watery just realized there's a lollipop here which is my little girl's that she's making. okay from here we're going to add a tablespoon of the tahini paste now if you're not familiar with tahini paste look it's very kind of watery so you do have to give it a stir and it's also what i like to call i don't even know if that's a word gunky and i like to see a nice big generous spoon can you see the nice big dollop of that and basically tahini is like um very crushed sesame seeds um which gives it that lovely taste and texture and also it also gives it that um very very familiar color so there we go, we've got that first of all, it's a bit sticky on the hands, put some tahini paste. Then I also like to add some natural Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt is the, um, the nicest cream, it's got the most nutrients in and it also gives the um, hummus some, I think some creaminess to it, some people don't like that but I like to add that. So I'm going to add two dollops of that, again it's a preference, sometimes other people that have been on my plan, not huge fans of Greek yogurt so they maybe just add one so it's up to you it's about just taking a recipe and seeing what fits for you now some people out there are going to have really nice fangled lemon juice machines I have and I've got my hands so we're just going to squeeze some fresh lemon again now lemon juice actually makes something a little bit tart a little bit sharp so if you know that you really like that you can go overboard a little bit more or perhaps you can do your hummus and then add a little bit more if you need to that's probably what I do so I do just a little bit of a squeeze there now as I pop this on it is going to be a little bit loud so excuse me but hopefully you'll see we've got the ingredients in there very reminiscent of hummus which you would get and I know you're probably thinking why on earth should I do homemade hummus I can get it in the shop yes you can but how great is it to know what actually goes into it and this batch I'm doing here is probably going to last me about four days now with this also when it goes on I won't talk because you won't be able to hear I'm going to just pop a little tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil in there again extra virgin olive oil is amazing for the skin inflammation and it's fantastic as we age so i'm just going to add a little bit of that and also i'm just going to pop off add a little tiny bit i'm not really a big lover of adding a lot of salt i like to keep kind of a low sodium diet so i don't add a lot but obviously um we need a little bit of seasoning in there i've also put a little bit of crushed garlic in there let's pop it on again you were doing that I probably would do that one more time but if I get a little spoon and show you what it's like yum can you see the texture of it that's obviously we need to blend that in a little bit more now a lot of times if you think that the obviously there's nothing better than taste test right that's yummy at this stage if you think oh mm, little bit more lemon juice I just thought that a little bit more lemon juice lemon juice goes in please no more salt you don't really need to more if you want a little bit more creaminess put in your Greek yogurt also the other day I actually added some feta cheese which was really nice and, and at the end of it I'm going to just do um, you can add a little bit of cumin you can add some chili flakes in there it's entirely up to you a little bit of coriander on the top so should we have the last go You can add a little tiny bit of water 
So I'm going to pop some of this out for you to see. And now, I talk a lot. I know that most of you will see that and probably know that if you've been on the thread. But, look at my clock. That is five minutes that I've been chatting. So you will probably do that, I would say, maybe three minutes. And there. Delicious. Homemade. It's going to last for a while. I actually served that. I've got some um, homemade, not homemade, sorry, whole meal, homemade whole meal pitters. So I'm going to do chop up some of those. I've got some crudités, which is nice to do. Um, or you can serve it with some rosemary crackers, which is lovely as well. So there you go. Easy, simple. That took five minutes. It's probably going to take you three. So enjoy that. I hope you've done it alongside me. And um, I'll see you guys again real soon. And here's the ebook. Have a great day.